Hello, this is Brian Shannon from alphatrends.net. Today is Monday, June 2nd, 2008, and on Wall Strip today we're looking at shares of IBM. You can see here that we're going to start out our analysis by looking at this monthly time frame, that is each candle represents one month on here. And going back to about 1998, you can see it had a huge rally. Uh, they brought it up towards these all-time highs at just about $140 a share. Here we are right now at about 130 so we're $10 off that all-time high. And it's been in a great uptrend really for the last uh, year and a half, two years. When we look at the weekly time frame, here's where we see that uh, real nice uptrend. We ran into some trouble uh, late last year, early this year with the rest of the market as it made this pattern of lower highs and lower lows on the weekly time frame. And then that pattern was interrupted right here as it made a higher high. So since that point, the stock has uh, had a couple nice moves higher. And when we look at the daily time frame, you can see that here's that level where the buyers took control at about 112 by uh, ex exceeding this prior peak, which right here on the weekly time frame, you can see, again, was it about 112 or so? Um, you know, on the daily time frame, this is that other area that I had outlined. And, and it, three real strong days in here, the buyers were, you know, re-exerting their force and, and taking back control of, of the trend in here. So the stock has made this nice series of higher highs and higher lows. You can see it kind of stair-stepping higher. It has these nice uh, quick rallies like the one we just saw last week. Uh, then it consolidates those either through time or like we saw here uh, by price. So right now the stock is short term a little bit extended and I would be very careful about making new purchases in here. Instead what you want to look for is you know I don't I don't think you want to buy in weakness. I never like to buy in weakness. Um, you know you would have looked at this and said well it broke past resistance here so it was in a nice stage two uptrend. We saw a little bit of distribution and then the stage for decline. People who were expecting this prior level of resistance to act as support and purchased in there were quickly uh, relieved of some of their money. But uh, what we want to do instead of buying on weakness is wait for the pattern of lower highs and lower lows to, uh, to, to stop uh, showing up in here. And what we saw was we saw these higher lows first right in here near the 124.5 level. This is accumulation in here. Then as the stock broke out past uh, a new high right in here, this was the ideal time to purchase this when you're looking at multiple time frames. When you look at this level right here, one, we've got the risk of, of price that seems to have been behind us, and also the risk of time. So now the stock has momentum. This is where you want to get involved as a shorter term trader, and then determine where to set your stop based on the definition of trend, which is higher highs and higher lows. So if it broke back below this level here, that's when it would have failed and you would have wanted to get out uh, with a loss because it could have continued lower. Um, but here on the daily, I'm sorry, on the 30 minute time frame, we see that the t stock kind of chopped around in there and then took off very nicely. Now it seems as though it's undergoing just some sideways action, which could prove to be another uh, stage three distribution like we saw in here. If that's the case, then what you want to do is you want to just avoid this stock for you know right now. Look to maybe lock in some of your profits. Avoid the stage four decline if that occurs. Wait for the stage one to then um, kind of uh, work itself out because that represents the risk of, t of time in there. And then look to buy on strength once again. So for now, I think that the uh, in the short term, the stock has just come a little bit too far too fast. It needs to consolidate these gains. Uh, if, however, it can climb above 130 and stay above there, then perhaps it will uh, re-exert its force to the upside without a price correction. A lot of times they can occur through time. But uh, I'd just say sidelines for now and just keep a good eye on this one because it's in a very nice uptrend.